Hopefully we get to see just the it. same amount of aggression coming out of RNG's early game, but this is something more uh, traditional from this team as Angel is on that Annie mid lane. Three utility champions, and it's all about Gala once again. But Ultra Prime, Zeri in Doggo's hands. I think it is the only champion that Doggo has looked extremely comfortable on, and the wins that they've managed to scrabble in the recent weeks has been because Doggo pops off on the Zeri. I feel like this game is weirdly like season one. Like Zin Zhao, you've got the Rise, you've got Lee Sin, you've got Annie, you've got Blitzcrack. This is <laughs> full on season yeah, one Sion gameplay Sion. right here. Yeah, Sion. Actually, yeah, maybe Sion was out in season one. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. It's a very different version ugly. of Sion, but Sion nonetheless. Yeah, he was hideous. Um, <laughs> Sin Zhao as well, very different champion now to what he used to be. In fact, even Blitzcrank got a rework since then. Um, Rise got one or two reworks, I think it's fair to say, since season one. How many reworks? Yeah. Got, like seven? Definitely more than two, to say the least. <laughs> oh, here we go, RNG once again. Trying to get cheesy with it, but the wards come out. You see one in the tri brush and one in that middle brush as well. They're not going to fall for Breathe's antics once again. Yep, they are playing 100% safe for Ming using the best Blitzcrank skin. I don't want any other opinions because this is just facts. As he walks oh, yeah. up with this one. Looking very Hiltover cool. Customs. <laughs> yeah, yep, the exactly Hot Wheels blitz, Blitzcrank coming out. And we'll see. We'll see if we can find the hooks. Oh, we're getting cheeky. We are Ooh, getting we are real cheeky. Oh, Angel sneaked over. He's got the stun, he's got the stun. Flash. Forge stun, no, the flash hunt to get him. Forge flashes, but there's no way out of this one. And RNG once again find themselves a cheeky first blood. What a series from this squad. RNG, they are cooking as they do. They're doing the strap from the Heretic BDS game. Breeze is going to do this grab the camp with Wei, and then he's going to go to red buff with Wei, and he's going to do all three camps in this bottom side. And then Wei, I mean, sorry, Breeze is going to end up in the bottom lane as they are going to force a push. And then Tower Dive, can they pull it up though? They don't have CC from the bottom lane of Ultra Prime this time around. We'll have to wait and see if they can pull it off. Wei going for that red buff. As the ward there will spot out Breathe doing these crooks. So, full information for Ultra Prime. Doggo and Bowland moving it. over to try and contest, try and do something about it. But they are still 4v2. Can they actually do anything here? Doggo and Bowland not exactly got a ton of pressure on a Zeri Lulu at level one. Forced away from the tower. And look how much Doggo is going to miss for this. Oh. Way actually just goes in onto Doggo here. Ming looking for a hook. I'll have to thread it through the minions, though, if he wants to find it. That ward is getting so much value for Ultra Prime. Sonic Wave won't land. Ward finally cleared. But Doggo lost so many minions from this play. It is 14 CS to 1. And breathe, he doesn't care because he's a Scion. I mean, compared to the LEC edition of this strat, this has been a lot less chaotic, but it did what it was meant to do and it put Doggo behind. Although not dying once in that early skirmish, he is now so behind in terms of minions by only the three minute mark. So I would say that that was relatively successful. Yeah, I mean, Wait, yeah, that? 22 to 4 CS. I'd call that a success. Way coming back to try and threaten a dive. You've got a Blitzcrank to make it happen. He's got Ignite as well. Ming is going aggressive. Flash forced out of Bowland. Doggo trying to get in, trying to get these waves. That's already a plate, a three minute 20 plate for Gala. I love the LPL Munchables. Ning, you can't die the Sion, especially with an Aatrox. He's just going to revive back from the dead and trade a one for one. So it's never worth it for Ultra Prime to play on the other side of the map. Ning, you need to park towards Doggo now and bail him out of jail because he is currently down a plate and a lot of CS. Yeah, this is this is beautiful, honestly, from RNG. Like a dominant lead to start things off. They're almost a thousand gold up, and that's almost exclusively on Gala. In fact, individually, Gala might be a thousand gold up with the lead that Harry is building up at the top side. Like it would make a lot of sense. They oh, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself there. He's four hundred gold up though. That's still a big deal. 
It is indeed a very big deal, and you never want your Zeri to be behind coming back with only a Boots and Dagger. I can't imagine what God's gonna come back. Maybe a Noon Quiver and Boots as they are going to just continuously force with Ming on Blitz Crank. Flash not available for Baolan. Ming is looking extra creative with this roam, however. Ming's in so much trouble. He doesn't know what's happening. Wait they a second. They're not looking for Ming. They're going to the mid lane. Forge. Oh no. He hasn't got any clue it's happening. Hex Flash is available. Ming over the wall looks for the hook. The stun is there. The pull back, the knock up, and the take down. RNG. This is orchestrated. Just beautiful gameplay. They're playing around the vision perfectly, Mantra Bulls, and Ming Wei definitely putting on their A game as that jungle support the synergy and making Forge 0 2 0 in this early game. I mean, even Angel, him flashing forward and making, setting things, setting everything up for RNG. This is just a beautiful early game for this game, too. But Ming just this getting part away here. scratch free. I know, he just doesn't know. Ming using the Hex Flash and Wei using his W to go over as well. How beautiful is this combination of the trio? I can't. Wait, what? No! Surely Breathe doesn't get ahead in the top side as well. An assist there for Breathe as he'll sweep up this wave. This is an insane game out from RG. Not only is Wei absolutely everywhere, Ming having these creative selves. This is such a wacky game in Ultra Prime. They just don't know where to look. And now Tim is in the mid lane from Angel. He just looks for it all in onto Forge. Forge doesn't have the TB. He's forced out of lane unless Ming, you already see him going around the bottom side river. He's getting a little bit scared as they don't have any information about where this Blitzcrank is. But this game two for RNG is a highlight package. It's so many amazing moments for this Blitzcrank. And even the top side three getting ahead as well. Oh my god, Munch. This game is so entertaining. I love it. Yeah, this has been absurd. This has been so much fun to watch. As way we'll start this dragon off. I can't believe we're only six and a half minutes into this game. With how action-packed it's been, it feels like we're in a much later stage of League of Legends. Wait, falling behind in CS so far because Ning has been farming up a stall while all this has been going on. But the fact that he's 2 0 and 1, I don't think he's going to be too worried about farm this one. The first dragon taken by RNG. Complete control taken by RNG. It's only a 1,000 gold lead, so Ultra Prime not out of it just yet. But I'm just loving the creativity of what RNG brought to the board. Most definitely. And just them dodging the vision so perfectly from Angel and Ning and Wei. They've definitely practiced this before and they know their limits. Ning 000 trying to look for his first gank in this bottom lane. Yeah. Flashes are available. And it's the fact that there was there was a ward at Pixel Brush. So that entrance to the jungle was blocked. Ning was at Krugs and had just gone past Red. So it was as far as Forge was concerned, it was completely safe. RNG really playing a blinder there. Ning wants to make his way into this bottom lane, though. As Flash available, it would be a big pickup if they could take down Gala and just reduce that. I mean, the, the CS lead would probably go to about zero if they're able to get a kill on Gala mm. here. We're just going to oh, get the connected onto him. Oh, good Flash reactions are on point. Wait, yeah, great really flash out from him. The early game. How long will Ning stay in this spot of wait? Does Ming know? He spotted? Oh my god, he got spotted on the sweeper! And Gala can deny the recall! This is tragic for Ning! I mean it's the easiest herald of their lives! <laughs> Breathe is pushed in, but it doesn't matter because your jungler isn't here. They even plopped down a ward, but it does not make a difference at the end of the day as Ning desperately trying to get something into Doggo's hands as he is the carry that Ultra Prime yeah. always sets up. Ultimate from Angel, not gonna... Oh, two bolts from me. This is fireball now with those ultimates. Herald will be taken, but Breed could be in trouble. Angel trying to get away, but low on HP. Harry, big damage there. Breed to target as he kicks one away, but Breed will fall. A Herald for a kill, but oh in the God. meantime... In the meantime, Doggo down, both sums burnt as well. 
Bolan wasn't there to protect Dodo and RNG took advantage of this. Evening it out with a one-for-one -one trade. I'm assuming Ming was able to get a hook onto Dogger, and that's the only explainable reason why he had to burn the flash as well. I mean, with the glacial, it also had to pop the cleanse, but Bala, he's gonna pick up another play with the noon quiver and the pickaxe now, and they also obtained the herald. I mean, this is just a masterclass from RNG. And with that bottom lane tower only having three plates, you could look to use a herald there. Oh, I see. They just oh, ran underneath the tower. The hook does land at the very end, but it was just a straight up tower dive from the side of RNG. They just take no mistakes from Ultra Prime as they spotted ball and just missing from the bottom lane and burnt both summoners. So this is going to happen again. Wei is going to clear towards bottom and Ming using the Hex Flash definitely going to make Doggo's uh, life a little bit more troublesome. Palan and Doggo here as Ming moves in. And look how aggressive he positions right off of the bat, forcing them away from the wave, making sure the Doggo can't safely farm. Such a tough lane to be in because the second that hook lands, you're in so much trouble. And look at the difference in items between the AD carries right now. Boots on either side, but then a pickaxe and a noon quiver versus three long swords. Gala mm. feeling good in this one. A couple of free autos Definitely. out as well. I'm getting really scared for Ultra Prime because it does seem like Wade is going to drop that health for this bottom lane. And we need to remind everyone that Jinx, once you get a reset, you need to back off ASAP as it could potentially result in another kill into Gala. So you have to respect that. It does seem like Wade is going to get his camps first before he starts positioning towards his bottom lane. Yeah, can move down into this river. Angel has already cleared vision. And perhaps could play it through Tribrush. He wants to try and find some enemy camps first. Or perhaps to pick up to Forge. Forge doesn't have flash available. Tibbers is going to be up any second. Now the flash forwards. The stun is there. The kick. And one last auto from Tibbers. The paw slams down on Forge's head. You can't let RNG have first pick blind Annie because Angel just pilots his Annie so meticulously well where every setup has been perfect so far. I love watching him play Annie because he's not scared or hesitant on burning the flash every single time resulting in a kill. I mean, the jungler as well, having 4 KP out of 5, getting stuff done around the map. And Ning only has one picking up this wave in the middle. But you're not going to do much with only CS. Nope, and Gala in the meantime is gonna get himself yet another plate. And like you mentioned before, Wei well, still has that Herald available. This tower is looking like a prime target for that, but I think Wei realizing that Ultra Prime will know he wants to go to that bottom lane, he just keeps hovering mid instead. And now Herald down in the mid lane, that'll be two plates for Angel instead. This Annie is going to roll a build, so she is going to be extremely tanky, but still we already we see the damage that he's able to put out in just a single combination. But being forced to back here, I mean, we don't see too much proactiveness from the jungle and support of Ultra Prime. As the scoreline now 5-1 to one, and also two dragons in the hands of RNG. Harry, I think, being the only positive thing going for the side of Ultra Prime right now. But we've seen that Scion can comfortably neutralize those positives. We saw it all through the first series today. And we'll see if Breathe can have a similar impact to what he did in game number one, despite that massive CS discrepancy. I don't think he minds too much. A lot of that down to the shenanigans in the early levels. Kraken Slayer now finished for Gala, as well as a couple of bonus daggers there on top of his boots. Gala is terrifyingly huge at this point in the game. The rower finished for Angel as well. Gordrin could there for Wei. Now, like, everybody on the side of RNG is getting massive. Just look at the vision control that RNG has set up here. Every single pink has this able award from the Fall Land, and that is just suffocating Ming and Balan from entering into their own jungle for another kill, perhaps. Maybe Ooh, Forge dodging everything this time. Well played by Forge to keep himself alive. Angel could be in trouble now as Ning moves over, but the stun from Angel denying the ultimate from Ning. Everybody underneath the tower. And you can't you gotta respect the Blitzcrack. You can't go even close to that tower. Harry was also trying to look for something there, but with the ultimates being burnt for that mid skirmish, it does seem like RNG they are still coming out on top from that exchange. Yeah. Well, it's just I think Carla got another play. 
Oh my I'm pretty God, sure he got Carla. another plate while all of that was going off as well. So yeah, there you He's go. Look. Good. One HP on the tower, no plates remaining. So that'll go down and the those and Doggo run, knows run, he has run, to leave run. for the recess there. It's not going to follow up. Carla doesn't chase for it. I, I, have, I see an angle where Doggo dies there because the flash is barely coming off cooldown, but with the Herald spawning in 20 seconds, Carla's going to reset here and work towards that second item as Angel level 11 now. Also burning the TP where Forge doesn't have that TP on the other side. So RNG, I'm going to look for this Herald. I'm going to stop Forge's back. Oh, it barely missed. <laughs> the rocket flying across the map to try and deny the recall. Doesn't quite find his target. Look at the gold lead. Oh my god. I know. I know. It's just on another planet. 1,700 gold. I'll go at this point. Ultra Prime. Gonna try and start this hell for themselves. Still 5k on the health bar. They're taking it slowly. Away, wide on this Sonic Wave, just jumps into the pit, threatens the smite steal, but everybody charges straight onto him, gets a kick back. Oh, Has Sonic Wave been alone? No, doesn't get it. Herald taken, Doggo forced out of the fight, and it's on down, the flame choppers are there. Harry with some knockups here, but knocked up himself, and taken down in the end by the Kraken Slayer, and now Forge chased out, Bowland forced to flash. RNG, they know they're strong and they're looking for more. And this is where the Jinx composition gets so strong. 5v5, they're gonna stop this back onto Ning. No flash available, and he gets suffocated by RNG. Oh. Ning, just take the kill here, man. Oh, Garma goes all up! Oh, oh it's wide! I missed! Ming, take it! <laughs> oh, no, Ning, the fancy forward. He goes for a kill onto Ming, but Angel's there to finish the job. The whole squad used to make sure that Ning goes down. Ultra Prime got the Herald, but what does that mean? Another tower fallen in the hands of RNG and a successful team fight. We don't see this tempo slowing down anytime soon. And we saw Harry, he did look like he was going to pop up in that team fight, but without your Zarya, she was caught out making her way to this fight. You are lacking so much follow up damage. It's just the Aatrox, it wasn't enough. But with the amount of CC, Harry gets onto him. One knockout from Blitzcrank. And another knockoff from Sion, and he's dead. Yeah, Garla doing so much follow-up damage. And the Shadow Flame finished off for Angel now. Rapid fire cannon there for Garla. These carries are hitting like trucks. And Breathe is he's getting to that point where he's so difficult to take if he's threatening you on the backside of the fight with the Sunfire Cape. With the Bramble Vests as well. He's so impossible to, to get through. Forge the only one. The, it was the damage type is even gonna hit it. Yeah. We have Ultra Prime all rotating towards this dragon, but Angel, he has the stop or she has the flash available as well. While on Ultra Prime, oh, it doesn't have the clone, so it's gonna be so hard. How is that gonna die? Oh, shots coming on through onto Doggo. Won't Angel? be able to finish it. Angel tippers onto Ning and basically one shots him. Gifted over to Way as he's pulled through the play. Harry looking for no fuck of something miraculous here, but taken down for Way's double. And every time Ultra Prime go near RNG, they are picked apart one by one. Every time they think they have a chance to engage, Angel says no, and he just turns the fight around, not even using the flash or the stop, which he can oh, look no. again. Oh, the flash on Stogo, but he answers it with a flash of his own bow and in trouble as Gar will finish the kill, gets the recess, and the rest of the gang diving in him towers in 18 minutes. This will be a mid in him already. Are they going to end the Wait, what is our fastest game? I think it's 19, so it's not going to be that yet so i don't know i thought this is going to be a time breaking record but breathe trying to just get the cs this is how expendable his <laughs> ultimate is yeah just charges up to the top side make sure that no such bounty will go over to ultra prime here doesn't want to let a single piece of gold over to his opponent now we can see and his ultimate is so late one hp already and just gets follow reset i mean Oh, yeah, the Valiant to reset off carry and the entire team like it's so scary for Ultra Prime. No one walking up. Ogo also eating over. But Angel always looking for an eagle behind. 
going to be flashed queued instead of slash Wing, which would have been a guaranteed CC onto Dogu without that cleanse available. It would have been a lot more clean, but Gala is going to tear his bullet and gets another two kills into the process of RNG. Wade does some serious damage as well. I feel like we've not been talking about Wade as much as the carries, but, you know, he's got to a point where he's so he's at the same level that Doggo is, so as soon as he's on the target, it only takes him a few autos to finish the job. Forge desperate to finish this tower off, but knocked up. The minions taken down, and he just can't get the bounty. Look at the two towers for top lane and mid, both surviving on one HP as RNG gaining this bottom side control. Harry can't even walk up because Angel just destroyed. having that threat of the Tibbers is so scary and Gala now working towards that IE to having their rapid fire to juggle his uh, troop with and then how do you come back from this game? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. 11 to 1 with three drakes as well. As the tower now being thrown to TP, is the angel behind it? Like the doggo! He's gone down, surely away! Jumps forward to get in range of the Q. It's two kills for RNG as Gala wants a little bit more to battle and forces a flash out from the enemy support player. And now back into that mid lane where the inhib was already opened up earlier on in the game. In the meantime, way split pushing at the bottom side. RNG, they want this one over. Wrap it up, boys. Doggo's cleanse just pictured how defeated his mentor is right now as Angel got a sneaky stun with that Q, but he didn't expect the Annie Q travel time to be so slow. And he mistimed his own cleanse where he also balled as a result. The Q inhibitor is now down with Baron on the tables. They're just going to work towards that now. Oh, yeah. Three sets across the board for RNG. Ultra Prime, I don't know if they even have the damage to rush this on a tempo play or anything. Breathe. And uh, taking it. I mean, his shield has been hurt slightly. Angel his bad. angel re-arrives on the play. Ning forced to use his ultimate here. They're finally doing some damage to Breathe. He's half HP. Can they finish the job? A shield comes on through. Breathe bad. goes down. Wait, kicks sideways. It's not enough for the fight. As Breathe now charging forwards in his zombie form. And it's a pick for Ultra Prime. One for zero. Can they find more? Second kill onto the board. Force flashing for Ning. Oh dear. A lot used here to try to get onto Gala. It's a kill onto Ming, but Gala still going. The tip is there doing a lot of damage. Ultra Prime, a couple of good picks here. And RNG, I think, underestimating what they could do. But you can't force Baron here because Angel still has the flash to oh. go away. Wait, what are you doing? What is that? He actually somehow survives with a stopwatch. I feel like RNG are looking for montage clips here. They don't care about the game. They just want to look good to it. Down, down for the triple kill for Gala. The Pentamaker himself as Harry tries to escape. Ning, low on HP. Gala waiting for his zap. It's not a quadra. It ain't enough. An angel will finish Harry off. And you can see Gala. Chuckle it away to himself here, as Baron belongs to RNG. I've never seen Gala this happy before. All it took was an 8 and 0 Jinx game, perhaps even an end from RNG as Breathe is just ulking down mid lane and getting the damage to both towers. Only Fallen and Doggo are up against so many super minions as well. <laughs> yeah, this one is over. RNG! One of the most comfortable two zeros I've seen in a long time. Domination against Ultra Prime and both games. Cheesy style strats coming out for Breathe. I don't care because all we got out of that series is Gala smile. We, can, we need to make it one <laughs> happy times. Gala has smiled on camera and being looking very happy with his performance as well. I mean, that was just such a clean series coming out of RNG and now bumping them further up. Like their prime form now from MSI 2022. Yeah, I love that Ming and Ning grinning at each other as they shake hands there as well. Like two of the longest standing LPL players in the entire league there up against each other.